again, it's Priscilla Vatzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 12 by 12 inch pre-prime canvas that is now dry. It was primed with mead and paint. I'm going to use all of my prism pores in riotous ways, trying to be very organic. That was the Chantilly Lace. This is the Hot Orchid, I believe. Although, I think it's Pink Diamond. My mistake. I want to use some of the new Whispering Wind, which is a gorgeous blue. Let's make sure that's completely shaken. I'm just going to be sort of willy-nilly about this. I've got some Midnight Shadow, which I want to use up above. I think I'll wait on that. I've got some Cerulean Blue. Well, I would if it would open. This time, last time I didn't use any Mayan Gold, and this time I want to. I have a little bit of Violet Rose left. What else have I got? I've got a new color. No, I've got all kinds of new colors. They're just not mixed yet. Um, pink Carnation. I use some Pink Carnation. Now I'm going to use the Midnight Shadow and some of the Pink Diamond. Come on, open up. And grab an Oxo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula by Good Grips. And start. You know what? I missed one color. I want to use this shiny taffeta. Which is a beautiful pale yellow. I may put a moon in the sky. The other color I didn't use <laughs> is Deep Amethyst. Since I'm here, I'm going to put some of that Whispering Wind in the sky. Or what I'm thinking of is the sky. A little piece of grit on my spatula. And I've left all kinds of things in my way. I like what I have. Wow. So I'm going to take that Midnight Shadow and a little bit of Cerulean Blue. And a little bit more of the Violet Rose. And I'm going to see if that is that thing that was catching on my spatula, but if it's not, it doesn't matter. Now if you wanted to, you could leave that texture from the spatula right in there and it would look like clouds, in my opinion at least. The top edge does not matter that much to me because I could always go back and match something up somewhat. But I do like to have my edges similar. very pretty twilight sky. I am going to use, I see that bubble, don't need to worry about it really. I am going to use, I'm going to make sure I'm going that way, some white, 
some Amsterdam white and Aussie Floetrol, some Amsterdam black and Aussie Floetrol, and some PBO Precious Gold. And then I'm going to take all that paint. I might save that. I'm going to do a little more black. I'm going to use a little purple this time. Dioxazine purple from Hobby Lobby. I did mean to leave a little bit of black. These acetate tools the video for making them should be under the video. Just enough paint to do my edges, not necessarily my bottom. You can drag the edge through and you make some interesting texture. You can usually turn it over and add your paint that's drifting off. Could just make that an ocean. I have some cells. I'm sort of surprised I don't have more. Like, extremely surprised I don't have more, actually. But it does look like the ocean for me. Which is kind of. What I was looking for. I'm kind of expecting some cells, some more cells to show up anytime. But in the meantime, I think I'll just waggle my way to happiness. This is the dull end of the skewer. It's much less dangerous than the sharp end. So maybe that's an octopus poking out with those cells. I'll throw a few spirals in there just to confuse you now because I like spirals. It's a pretty simple concept. I'm going to leave my one little section of cells alone. I'm probably going to leave the rest of it alone too. Because I like it just as it is. It's kind of sweet. Simple and sweet. I am going to shimmer it at you though. Even though I don't have a ton of cells. I'm not sure what happened there. I have no idea in fact. But it's okay because I really do like what I have. All my edges are covered, and if they're not, I have some dripping paint. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Just perfect. Now, I thought I might put a moon in the sky, but as long as there's blue anything in the background, that usually means it would stain blue. So if I'm going to put a moon or any nice clouds in, that'll be tomorrow. Oh, that was some kind of animal hair, and I got it out. Yay! Wow, that's gorgeous and fast. Woo, that is so gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Like I said, the moon goes in tomorrow. Let's see right down in there. Let's make sure there's nothing in there that doesn't belong. Well, the paint is nice and wet, it'll fill in. After that, not so much. Wow, those colors are fantastic. I love this. Let's just zoom in as far as I can. The water is beautiful. I might want to stick my finger in part of that then. Look at that. I hope you can see what I can see. 
This, this like deserves resin. And that's definitely an octopus. <laughs> octopus emergence. All right, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check out some of my 2,500 videos. I am gonna pop a few bubbles if I see them with a sharp instrument. Like the sharp end of my skewer. Boy, I thought I'd like to have cells more than this, but I really don't care at this point. I do care that my, my cell phone just shut off. Okay, come back. There we go. So I wanted to tell you guys, no, that's not cool. <laughs> it's playing all kinds of games with me. There we go. So, 2,500 videos. My Amazon link is on my link tree. My link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups. Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Look at those beautiful colors. I'm going to play with, be playing with those again. I'm even tempted to put a few more spirals in, but I kind of like what I have. It's a little bit, it's a lot organic. It's a little bit rogue. I wish I had to quit doing that. Okay. <laughs> I can't seem to keep my cell phone light on. So please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I would really appreciate it. If you shop any of my links, you help me out. I really appreciate that. Check out the 20% off color art coupon code below the video and do some shopping. You'll enjoy yourself. I'm sure. If you're looking for the hot orchid and you can't find it, it's because it's jasmine, pigment powder, and primary elements. Thank you guys for the co comments to keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you'd like to be a contributor to help keep the studio rolling, that is much appreciated to help purchase art supplies. And uh, you'll be eligible for a 15-minute free consultation from 30 minutes from the day that you make a donation. Thank you so much. I am going to run a torch over it really quickly and uh, see if I can bring up any bubbles. My paint pouring recipes are below the video. I do sell my artwork. And um, <laughs> I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. So if I can help you with anything, please ask in comments. I'll get back to you if I know the answer, and I'll get back to you if I don't. You guys, bye for now. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you and on. Priscilla out.